You guys will always hear me talking about as a luxury financial dominatrix why being expensive is very important and why I charge as much as I do and I expect my subs to spend thousands of dollars a month on me. But you will also hear me talk about why I do accept small sends as well when they are done appropriately. And I have a perfect example for you today of what that looks like. So this is the guy that I told you guys about earlier who wanted to tip me for the Findom education that I am providing on TikTok to better the industry as a whole. And he messaged me last night and said that he had been drinking and, and that they made him feel like he should send, but he only sent $5. So of course I was like, did you forget a zero at the end of that? Or, cause like, come on, $5. And he said, my apologies, goddess. I really did mean long ago that I would send what I can when I can. Right now I feel like I should reimburse your flowers, please. And he's saying that because his original intent was just to send me a tip as appreciation for the education that I provide and that's it. But after he had a basic conversation with me and got to know me a little, he decided he wanted to send more and he was just gonna silently send towards reimbursing items that I posted when he could. That escalated very quickly to him sending more and more. And yesterday, the same day, I had posted the flowers that my man had bought me while we were out shopping that I, of course, still wanted some other loser to reimburse because why not? And that's what he sent to cover because that's what he could afford to cover at the time. And he went on to say, I'm trying so hard to not think about how I went from I will send once to show gratitude to I want to reimburse something that ended up reimbursing something else in the same day. And this is what I posted on my Twitter, and I'm just going to read it out loud here. This is what I mean when I say small sends count too. This wallet sent a pathetic $5 send and then still only increased it to a $15 send. But not even 48 hours ago, he started out simply wanting to send a tip for my education I provide to wanting to silently send towards reimbursements when he could to sending even more frequently in addition to paying for every single message that he sends to me. Submission and sacrifice is often equally as important as the sending itself. Yes, of course, sending larger amounts will always be more satisfactory and turn me on, but consistency and intent over a long period of time means almost as much. This would be different if he was attempting to speak to me for free, but he is paying for every single message that he is sending me because of the platform he's messaging me on, and he is sending when he can as much as he can. He is not expecting anything in return. He is not being overly needy. He's not being disrespectful. He's not overstepping boundaries. He understands that he cannot afford the luxury of a lot of my attention. And I'm fine with that. I will take your last penny if that's all you have to give as long as you are acting in an appropriate way. And somebody sending $15 when they only have 20 usually means a lot more than somebody sending $1,000 when they have $10,000 to send. The intent behind it means a lot as well. So as long as the behavior is matching and the sends are coming from a place of sacrifice, submission, and service, I am always happy to accept smaller amounts.